Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. So, as you guys can probably tell from the title, today I'm doing a video that I've never done before on my channel. I like trying out new things. So I've noticed that a lot of times you guys DM me and ask me like, you know, I'm in this situation or I'm facing these issues. What would you do if you were me? or just asking for advice on random stuff so i decided to make a video about it also i've seen the youtuber alia's face make these type of videos and she calls it like what would alia do so i'm changing it a little bit and making it a little of my own so that's exactly what i'm going to be doing today reading the suggestions and the situations that you guys have sent me and giving my advice or telling you what i would do in a situation but before I get into the video, I just want to say to please take everything that I say with a grain of salt. These are not facts, they are just my opinions and what I would do, these are just advices so you do not have to do them. And do not feel any type of pressure of doing exactly what I say. Use your own brain, think for yourself and at the end of the day, you are the one in the situation so you know best what is good for you so these are just my takes on the situation i just wanted to say that to clarify any confusion and yeah that's it if you're interested in seeing this video make sure to keep on watching okay so the first one i have my phone right here and i'm reading the situations that you guys have sent me also i would do want to say that i didn't really think that i would get like this amount of suggestions and issues and situations but i really got a lot of them so this video is going to be in like a two-part series type thing because i'm not going to be able to answer all of them in one video so i just wanted to say that if you didn't hear your situation or your question i didn't ignore it i didn't just not want to give an answer it's coming in an upcoming video so just want to point that out before we get into the video okay, so the first one that i'm going to do is this one i'm going to read it first like she typed it and papi mentu and then i'm going to translate it and give my answer in english so <clears throat> so she says not my story pero algo como mira basta un paripe Ki abo lo hasi si bota dengue la shon ko un kai, ku ting un baby mama, i a baby mama ta si kos pa malu kontra e gai i usa e yu tamme pa si kos nam pa malu pa so e baby mama no gusta e baby daddy su muhe nobo, i ki bota konseha e peki nobo e pa so e gai ki ata ku e peki nobo i e gai ta un bon tata pa su yu pa so tata ta soru tu ron pe yu. Okay, that's long. So basically what she's saying is that that is not her story, but she's seen it happen a lot of times. And like, what would I, what advice would I give someone that is in a relationship with a guy and this guy has a baby mama and this baby mama is doing all kinds of things to, you know, um, try to stop, I guess, the relationship between the dad and the kid. And the reason she's doing is the baby mama, the reason the baby mama is doing this is because she doesn't like the new partner of the guy. So what would I, what advice would I give the girl, like the current girlfriend? And because she, the, the, the guy wants to be a good dad or whatever, okay. So I don't have children. I don't think I want children. So maybe I'm not the best to give advice on this, but um, <clears throat> let me drink my apple juice first. I would suggest that you, the current girlfriend, talk to the dad like, yo, this is this isn't working out. Like, but it depends like how far things are going. You know what I'm saying? Like, if she did something really small, like I would just let it go and be the bigger person and just like, she's childish. But if it's like something constant and she's like keeping the kid away from the dad and all that type of stuff, but the dad really wants to be in the child's life. And I would suggest you stay out of it because you're not the mom. I would suggest the dad put his big boy, big boy pants on and talk to the big mama, like have a sit down conversation like, yo, listen, our relationship is over. We don't need to be doing all this extra childish shit. Like we can just co-parent for this baby and we can do it in a healthy way. Like, why are you trying to do this? Why do you feel the need 
to try to cause issues in my new relationship like i'm happy i moved on i suggest you do the same and maybe by talking to her like that the dad can actually figure out what her issue is maybe she feels like threatened because she feels like the baby is going to get too attached to her new girlfriend i don't know i really don't know but the, the only thing i that i feel like would give a solution in this situation is communication because we don't know or i don't know what's going on like i don't know why she's doing all this and the story is one-sided because i feel like maybe the baby mama would say well i'm not doing anything it's her that's doing all the you know drama so i would suggest just have a sit down not you the baby daddy and the baby mama they need to talk it out and he needs to tell her like girl you can't be causing drama in my relationship like we're not 12 years old you need to grow up like this is not it and maybe that would give you a little bit more peace because he handled it and you can be a little bit more you know secure in the relationship also because i can imagine it's not fun to be waking up every day and there's a new baby mama drama going on like that's not fun so i suggest they talk it out so you can get a little more peace in the relationship okay the second one says kiboloha si si botin par di amiga bota mira nanta sali pero nang no a invitabu y ella pasa un dos tres bien a yacina y va confrontando y dice no de con una no ha invitado a su y siempre no tiene un smush girl <laughs> I'm gonna keep quiet but um okay so basically what she said is what I would do if I had a couple of girlfriends and we used to go out together and now I see that they are going out together by themselves without inviting me and it this has happened a couple of times already and when she spoke to them about it like yo what's going on they always give like a stupid excuse like it's whatever so what would i do in a situation girl hillary me i'm gone like for real for real i'm not doing that like i don't even think i would ask them if i'm totally honest like maybe that's a toxic trait of mine but i really don't like bothering people so if i feel like you're moving funny like you always going out with other people girl okay bye like i don't care i really don't care but maybe you feel like okay i don't want to lose a friendship so you know maybe you guys have been friends for 10 years you don't want to just lose the friendship and ghost them i still wouldn't do it but if you want to, you can talk to them again and say, yo, like, I really feel like there's something going on. Maybe I did something that you didn't like. Maybe I said something and I don't, I'm not even aware of it. So why won't you guys just talk to me like adults? Like maybe, or maybe you don't want to be friends with you anymore. With me anymore. And then you, you need to just say that like, girl, I don't want to be friends with you anymore. Like go away. And I will understand that and respect that. But don't just leave me hanging and like always, I can always see you guys going out in your stories and doing all this fun stuff. And I'm just at home like, wow, I didn't even know it. Because that's not cool either. That's childish. And what they're doing right now to you, that's childish. Because I feel like if you have a problem with me, girl, everybody knows my Instagram. If you're my friend, you have my phone number, call me and say, Hillary, listen, I need to talk to you because you've been doing something that I don't like and we can talk about it. But like, what is this? Like all this going out and posting stuff and not, that's childish. So your friends are childish, in my opinion, that's for starters. And I also feel like, girl, you don't need to be always like asking them you ask already i feel like like that's my thing if i ask already and i don't even want to ask but i still went out of my way to talk to you like yo what's going on and you say oh it's nothing and give me like a stupid excuse what i would suggest that you do is girl like let it go like if you already tried your best if you don't feel like you tried your best maybe you can try and talk to them again but if you feel like i've done my part i've tried to talk to them communicate with them but they're not trying to talk to me girl let it go let it go like you spoke your mind you told them what's bothering you you spoke your heart they hurt you the first time let it go like it's not even worth it you will find other friends that are more adult like and they will actually communicate issues with you but this childish shit let it go girl okay so this one she sent it in english so that's great she says i'm suffering from severe depression and anxiety it's affecting my school 
Should I drop out and focus on myself or keep trying while stuck and unhappy? I'm in my last year of school. Ooh, this is hard. Okay, so this one is a little bit more different like from the other ones. Ooh, that's hard. Because severe depression and anxiety, but you're in the last year of school. Well, do you want me to tell you something? Maybe it's not what you want to hear, but I would suggest you finish your studies. But there's a silver line though. I would suggest you seek help. So I don't know if you're going to a therapist already, a psychologist, but you need to speak to someone because um, I've dealt with suppression myself for years. I've been to a psychologist since I was three years old. So girl, believe me, I know all about depression and anxiety but you cannot deal with it on your own sometimes it gets to the point where it's a little too much and you actually do need to realize like wow i cannot do this all by myself i need to ask someone to help me and that's okay so especially because you're in your last year of school i would totally not recommend you drop out girl like oh my god this is hard because you also need to put like you everything needs to be in a certain balance you need to see what weighs more to you because on the one side, you have your studies, you, you've done all the work, you're in your last year, so you've done great all these years. But on the other hand, it's your mental health, your depression, your anxiety, you're saying you're unhappy. So that's, that's hard, man. That's hard. I would not suggest you drop out just because you're in your last year. And I feel like maybe if you look for help and someone helps you at least a little bit you can push through and finish your studies and after that you can say okay i'm done with this i'm taking a two-year break i'm not doing anything for two years i'm just focusing on me on my mental health i'm healing from everything that's bothering me like i would suggest you do it that way but at the end of the day you need to do what you feel is best for you and your situation i just don't want you to get in a predicament where you feel like Oh my god, I wish I finished it. Oh my god, because girl, I know the feeling. So I would just push through and finish it while looking for help. Okay, so this next one is a long one and it's a papi to do. So she says, Mayaka di pensa papi di un consejo, pero mi di I know. A ella que le interesará lo que yo le diga. Oh, that's not true. Well, a mi te considera mi mes un persona con otra cera amistad fácil, mi no sabe cómo. So we zoom with mi amiga nan ku amigo. No comida fresco of me a type of girl ku minuta hua. Oh, me a type of girl ku min no me junto con la chusma, pero I don't know. Anto a base de kiko mita visa esaki well, po por visa ku amita mani e tipi mucha kuta kieto den class. No comida shy of mita laga yin de tu mami hasi of so, pero jobunta asina eta, anto minoke ese. Lo mi kieta amistoso, you know, no familiar. Anto timbia mi te pensa pa ami ku misa papi ku hindi des pa ami acercana anto ku misa un conversation pero promé min sakon anto di dos na mi bisa nu mami no ke mane pa hindi pensa stare me di ku asa ki da papi ku mi paso promé di school ma jis bai punto ku mucha un da local ta kieda anto ela bira ba mi ku un cara no anto zo zo no ta tu hindi sina mi sa ese pero lo mi no ke vroa e ti pe di contesta reaction e okay what else uh, a mi ting mane e concepto e ku bo mester papi ku ho piende pa bota mane the coolest one min sa kwa palabra ma susa na the coolest one aunque e nota e palabra adequa ki kor bota pensa tocante lo cual ma pisabu kong lo bo acerca un hende na school of papi mas den class tocante ki kor lo bo papi ku nan mi ke papi ku un mucho mue na school pa jis ser amistad aunque mi te mira ku eta papi ku un mucho mue but not always Okay, that's a long one. So I'm going to try and to shorten it and translate it. So what she's saying basically is that she's someone that's not shy, but she doesn't like to talk to people that much. She doesn't like bothering people. And she's, she isn't the type of girl that likes goes, like talks to like any and everybody. And she feels like she wants to be more outgoing. She wants to have more friends. She does have friends, but she wants to have more friends. And she wants to be more out there, but she doesn't quite know how to do that. And she's had a bad experience because she's approached someone before the, the first day of school and asked them like, hey, where's this classroom? And they basically looked at her with a stank face. 
so she wants to know what i would do what i think of the situation and she, there's a girl that she wants to talk to but she doesn't know how to do it so okay girl i get it i'm going to give you my opinion because that's what you asked me for i wouldn't want to be friends like with everybody either just like you said like you don't want to just get along with everybody that's not what she wants i don't like that either so what i would do if there's like what are y'all doing? I'm in a middle of video. Thanks. So what I would do if you want to get closer to the to people and be more amicable and everything that you just said, I would just try to let it flow naturally and maybe that's not what you want to hear. But you, you need to also like try to read people a little bit. Like if you see someone that is not very not very open to communication, like if you see for example I see this girl saying and this other girl tries to talk to her and she and she totally has like an attitude like i wouldn't want to go and try and talk to her like i already seen her character a little bit so i'm not very interested in that so you also need to make sure that you are choosing people that you actually want to be friends with and not just talking to people just because they're available oh there's a girl i'm going to go talk to her because that's not how you build friendships either so I would just try to choose people that you see that like the same things that you like, like you told me how would I choose? Well, I would choose people that seem to like the same things that I like, maybe people that are interested in stuff that I'm interested in, like for example, I'm going to give a stupid example, I like makeup. So if I see a girl fully putting on her lip gloss in class and you know, being all a diva or whatever. I feel like I could go talk to her and be like, if you want to know how to start a conversation, because that's also another of the questions, I would say like, hey, what lip gloss are you using? That's cute. Maybe I don't even think it's cute, but you know, just to get the conversation going. So she will be like, hey, this is this lip gloss. And I'll be oh, nice, nice, that's nice. I use this one. And you know, that way you can actually start a conversation because you have things in common. You know what I'm saying? So maybe that's a way to start a conversation. I don't know, but I feel like you also need to be need to be a little careful because I feel like you're closing yourself and you're not giving yourself the opportunity to meet people and that's not cool because if you're especially if you're young, you're going to miss it when you're older. So give yourself a chance to lift the weight off of your shoulders. Don't don't be so pressured. I need to make friends. People are not going to like me. I don't want to bother them. I don't want to go along with everybody like girl. Take it slow. It's not that deep. You can just, you know, experience it like you don't have to put it in your mind every day like today I need to make a friend today because then it's not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to seem disingenuous to people. They're going to feel like what is this girl doing? Why is she all up on me? You know what I'm saying? And that's not the impression you want to give either. So just let it flow. Try to look for people or girls that you have things in common with, things that girls that you feel like, oh, she seems nice. I just want to go talk to her. You can just go ask for something, you know, give a compliment and get the conversation going. That's what I would suggest. The other one, let me read this. It says, Meet the hand the act hope is shy miss. Or I'm not my comfort zone. Ora mi tengo con mi amiga nan, mi te sinto con mi no por expresar mi mens, pues mi te second guess mi mens, of mi te pensa con mi lo guardo di church, aunque no te sina. Pese most of the time mi te ach quieto, mi no te papi a casa mens. Que te pslo botim pa mi que siempre te uprete en que second guess mi mens. Girl, no, no, what are you doing? No. Okay, first of all, no. Let me see, how old are you? Okay, she doesn't have, she's not, what? She doesn't have an age but i don't think she's like super young or anything i think she's like my age girl no hell no why are you just second guessing yourself so much with your friends i don't get it so she's saying that she's super shy when she's not in her comfort zone and when she's with her friends she feels like she cannot express herself well because she keeps second guessing everything that she does and feels like she's going to be judged and most of the time she's super quiet she doesn't even speak and what tips do i have for her being someone that always overthinks and second guesses herself so girl i don't know why you're second guessing yourself that much i feel like something happened there like is there a reason that you always feel like you need to second guess yourself because i feel like you need to be able to feel like you say she's saying 
I am very shy when I'm not in my comfort zone, but I would think, okay, your comfort zone maybe would be like your group of friends, but you're shy with them too, and you feel like you're going to be judged. So what is your comfort zone? Like, I feel like she is an intro introvert, but I feel like she's an introvert who also has a lot of fear going out in public and being judged by others, I don't know. You need to actually start looking at yourself a little deeper and into yourself a little deeper. And what I mean by that is, I would say, first of all, you need to look at yourself because <clears throat> you have friends, but you're not comfortable with them. You second guess yourself and then why are they your friends? Like, I feel like a friend is someone I can be comfortable with, I can talk with, I can laugh with. Of course, there's a lot of type of friends, but I feel like you're telling me that in your group of friends, you're never comfortable and you feel like you're being judged. So that's not healthy because you're never yourself. So something that's supposed to be fun, oh, I'm going out with friends, becomes, oh, I don't want to go because I feel like they're going to judge me. Like, that's not how it's supposed to be because then you need to think, first of all, am i thinking this or am i really being judged by them you need to separate the two like are you really being judged by them do they make you feel uncomfortable maybe they're doing something that makes you feel uncomfortable maybe they're looking at you like girl why did you wear that and then that makes you feel uncomfortable or is it just all in your mind you need to figure that out first and then depending on the answer to the first question you need to think well I feel uncomfortable, maybe I need new friends because these friends make me feel uncomfortable, I cannot be myself around them, I feel like I'm being judged, I second guess everything that I do, I'm overthinking constantly, so maybe I need new friends that think the way I think, that feel and live life the way I live life and see life, and maybe that way you feel a little bit more, less, um, I don't know, stressed a little weird with around your friends because i feel like that's sad you shouldn't be around your friends and feel all those type of feelings you should be happy around your friends so i totally suggest you look take a deep look into yourself and see like okay what am i doing why am i feeling the way that i'm feeling without blaming anyone just looking first at yourself like what makes me feel this way and when you figure that out, everything else will align because you will do everything in your power to align all the other stuff. Okay, so we still have a lot of questions to do, so let me speed this up. Okay, this one says, Kiko Abelo has a situation in school with a way to take the mess, not a work so thing, with a way to manage to work in another way to take the mess, to take the mess, to take the mess, to take the mess, e como dá a maneira um docente que também é não te lê cubo anda outra mira e tá se coisa mane express cubo como abre o dia que o docente aqui e como o dia que o escola e o vida é nas wow girl that those are a lot of questions in one okay so basically the situation is she wants to know how to manage school because there's not only one course so she wants to know how to manage them all and still pass and deal with also her social life, like her personal life, but also pass all the classes. And she also wants to know like, how do you deal with a teacher that seems like she doesn't really like you or he doesn't really like you. And she's doing like things on purpose to try to make your life difficult, I guess. And how do I deal with the school stuff and still managing your personal life? Okay, I hope I summed that up correctly. Okay, so girl, it's all about balance. Like you really need to balance everything out. Like for example, you're asking how do I balance or how, how I would balance still passing my classes and my personal life. I strongly, strongly believe in planning. So I would like really sit down and plan everything. Like, okay, for example, okay, I'm going to school on Monday from eight to five. When I get home at five, do, and you need to be honest with your planning because otherwise it's not gonna work. So you need to ask yourself like, okay, for example, I'm going to school on Monday from eight to three. When I get home, what am I feeling? Am I tired? Okay, I'm tired. So I cannot put on my planning from three to four, I'm washing the dishes because I know for a fact I'm not gonna do it because I'm tired. So you need to manage your time. Okay, from three to four, I'm going to take a break, take a shower, eat some lunch, you know, chill for a bit. Then at 4.30, 
I'm going to, I don't know what you do in your personal life. Maybe you go to the gym. So at 4.30, I go to the gym for an hour. I come back, take a shower. And then at 8 p.m., maybe I start reading a book, you know? Maybe I do some schoolwork from 8 to, or from 7 to 9, you know? And then at 9, I feel like I've done everything so I can go on to the next day. Maybe the next day you have school for only a couple of hours. So maybe on Tuesday you have school from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. So you have the rest of the day to do everything that you couldn't maybe do on the first day. So then you can catch up on all your schoolwork. Maybe catch up with friends. Catch up with things you have to do around the house. Cleaning. I don't know. So, But you really need to manage it and, and plan it because otherwise it's not gonna work. So planning is key and also being honest with your planning. Don't plan a lot of things and you know you're not gonna do them. Like plan realistically and plan because you know yourself better than anyone. So don't, don't lie to yourself in your planning. Okay, so this next one says, Pues nanta tres amiga, ando dos dinan tin problema ku otro. Lo boca da papia ku tur dos of ni un di dos. Okay, girl. Um, mm, it depends. So basically what she's saying is, we are three friends, two of them have beef with each other and would I still talk to both of them or none of them? So none of them is a little too far, I think. Well, it depends on what they did to each other, but I feel like at the end of the day, that's not my business. Like it's, it still depends on what happened. But like, I feel like if you didn't stab my friend or something, like if you stab my friend, I'm not going to be all kiki cuckoo with you. You know what I'm saying? But like if it's some, like childish stuff like oh she doesn't invite me to go out with her anymore i don't want to talk to her i'm not gonna like fully break the friendship because that didn't even happen to me it's y'all's business y'all should handle like adults i'm not gonna get in the middle like that's period but i also feel like it depends on what happened like maybe two of the friends one of them slept with one's boyfriend like mm, that's a little uh, that's a little tricky but like for the most part, I think you should let them work it out by themselves. That's not your business. Continue being you. The only thing about it is don't let neither of them talk bad to you about the other. Like don't let person A come to you like, ah, oh, I hate her. She's a, she's a bitch. She's all this. She's doing this. I can't stand her. She's so stupid. She's don't let none of them talk bad to each other in front of you because at the end of the day on the long run they're not gonna trust you because the ones gonna think whoa she's letting me talk to her tell her all this crap about my ex-friend so maybe my ex-friend is telling her a lot of crap about me too like she can't be trusted i, I don't want to be her friends anymore so you know what i'm saying play it safe just you know when if one of them comes to you with all the gossip and the and the drama just say you know I'm gonna stop you right there. You know, I'm still friends with this person. So I would really prefer if you don't talk bad about her around me. If you guys don't want to be friends anymore, that's cool, you know. But please don't tell me all of that because you know I'm still cool with her. And you know, keep it cordial. So let them figure it out, girl. Don't put yourself in the middle. Let them figure it out. So this next one says, Compa da bisa bo mama, kubo no que nada ta magan kubo tata mas. Okay, that's a strong one. So basically she's asking how can she tell her mom that she doesn't want anything else to do with her dad. Okay, well, this also depends. I feel like I keep saying this depends, but it really depends. Like, I don't know the situations. Are your mom and dad together? Are they married? Are they living together? Or maybe they're separated. So if you tell your mom, like, I don't want to deal with my dad anymore, she will be like, I don't care. Like, what is the what is the, the the issue here like why do you feel like you cannot tell her what would happen if you did tell her like would she get mad would she not accept it would she would she make you still be cordial with him like what is the issue i feel like and it also feels also feel like it depends on why you don't want to like i don't know what why do you want to speak to him anymore because if it's over some petty stuff, I would totally suggest that you make up with him, you know. If it was me one year ago, I would be saying, girl, like, let him go to hell. Don't talk to him ever again. Like, 
that would be the Hillary from one year ago. But the Hillary from today, I'm trying to be a better person, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest you do that. If you feel like I still love him, maybe he did some stuff that hurt me, but I'm willing to talk to him about it and see how we can fix this relationship, you know, do it. Because when he's not there anymore, you're gonna miss him. So if you can still talk to him and fix it, fix it. But if you feel like, wow, what he did is unfixable, like I don't wanna talk to him anymore, then I also feel like you should tell your mom. I don't know how you wanna tell her because you asked me how, but I don't know the situation. So I would just say, go straight up, try to say, you know, mom, I need to talk to you about something. Maybe you're not gonna like what I wanna say, but I really want you to listen to everything that I'm saying and try to put myself, put yourself in my shoes and you know, maybe you will comprehend a little bit where I'm coming from but I really feel like this is the step that I need to take and maybe she'll she'll understand you and respect it you know so that's what I would do okay so the next one is in English so that's great no translation needed uh what would you if I guess what would you do he wanted to say what would you do if guy give you a bad sex how would you tell him that I'm damn curious <laughs> okay first of all <laughs> ah, okay first of all i don't know how to answer this because it depends again it depends like is he someone that i'm with or is he someone that i was with 10 years ago because if it's someone from my past I'm not gonna tell him that. Like, I feel like we're grown. Like, I don't need to go tell him, oh, it was bad. Like, that's not me. Maybe that's another girl's character, but that's not my character at all. So I really, when I'm, like, when I'm done with you, I'm done with you. So I don't care if you blow over, like, I'm Gucci. So I wouldn't tell him. But if it's someone that you're with, I would totally suggest you have a sit down conversation and tell him like, yo, this is not good for me. Like, what can we do to fix it? And you know, let's keep it at that. Just communicate with the person. Okay, so let's do a couple more before I close off this video because it's already very long. I think I'm going to do like two more, two more. So this one says, Si vos mi amiga bisabo que vos partner ta pega de bache, pero vos frey mes ninga, quien lo vos quiere? girl what kind of mess are you in okay no so again this is really i don't know there's not like one questions to this answer there's not one and what am i saying there is not one like solid answer to this question because it depends on the character of your friend and the character of your boyfriend and i feel like sometimes we don't want to admit like some stuff that we know in the back of our heads, but we secretly know what my like our friends are capable of, and we also secretly know what our boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever person in your life is capable of. But sometimes we're just so maybe in love or we just care for the person too much that we don't want to see it. But like in this particular situation, if it was me, and my friend came to me and says, hey, like, say I have a boyfriend. And my friend came to me and says, like, yo, your boyfriend is trying to holla at me. Like, he's crazy. What would I do? I would ask for proof. Like, that's step one. I wouldn't talk to neither of them about the situation. I would just say, like, oh, really? Did he do that? Like, can I see? What did he say? And then she would need to show me, like, oh, this is the text. He said this and that and that and then based off that i will make my decision but i wouldn't just blindly believe anybody and of course she, he's like he said um the, the boyfriend denied it of course he's gonna deny it he's not gonna say they're like yeah man like she's hot like i had to holler at the girl like he's not gonna do that so of course he denied it but that doesn't make what he's saying true so i would ask for proof if she can't give you proof, like maybe he spoke to her on Snapchat and the chat just deleted, you know? So he, she doesn't have proof. Then I would ask for her to, I would consult, I would ask him about it. And you know, ask him straight up, like, yo, what are you doing? Because if I find out that this is what you're doing, I'm gone. Like, I'm really gone. So I hope you know what you're doing and I hope you know the game you're playing because there ain't no second chance. Like, I'm gone. So 
play your cards wisely, play it because I'm not the one. Like really let them know that you're not about to do all the going back and forth because at the end of the day you don't deserve to go to sleep and wondering and thinking like is he faithful like is he? like you don't deserve that so just tell him straight up and at the end of the day you are going to find out but I will do everything in my power to find out so girl get your FBI skills on and investigate that shit because you need to find out what's going on and you need to find out if you're being used because that's not cool and maybe you end up and you're 10 years deep in a relationship and then you find out that what your girlfriend told you 10 years ago was true you don't want to be in that situation so find out girl put your fbi hat on and you know go investigate that okay so the last one that i'm going to do in this one the other ones i will answer in part two so the last one that i'm going to answer right now is this one she says me tengo mucho miedo que start mi business de cosepaña, but me tengo mucha vergüenza ish. No, girl, no. Okay, no. First of all, no. Um, second of all, no again, like no. <laughs> um, okay, she so she's basically saying she wants to start a little business, but she feels like like she's ashamed. Like no, what are you doing? Like first of all, I don't want you to feel like any type of shame because what is there to be ashamed about? You're trying to start a business, you're trying, you're trying to become an entrepreneur, like you're trying to become a business woman, a little boss girl or whatever, why would you feel ashamed? Like no, and I can, I can understand why you might want to feel like, I can understand why you might have those feelings because sometimes like society can be very cruel and they will be like, what does she think she is? Like this business is ratchet, like it's ghetto and nobody want to buy from you. Like I get the pressure, but at the same time, it's like ashamed is not the feeling that I want you to be feeling. Like maybe you can say, oh, like I'm nervous about it. Like I'm overthinking, is it good? But ashamed, like that's something totally different. Like you need to be proud of your craft. Like you, you want to be designing stuff or designing dresses or whatever. Like, I don't know. You want to be making cool stuff. Like, why would you feel ashamed? No, like first, the first step is don't feel ashamed ever because you didn't do anything wrong. You didn't steal from anybody. You're trying to start an honest business for yourself. You're trying to improve yourself. You're trying to better yourself. You're trying to create a future for yourself. So no shame in your game like no 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 shame in your game you need to actually be proud of yourself because you know you're trying to do something that most people may be afraid of like oh i don't think i can do it you can do it and you have the strength to do it it's in you you just haven't figured that out yet so you need to figure out that you are powerful enough to start it and there's no need to be ashamed of it just find some cool people around you, maybe one or two, or sometimes you don't find cool people around you that want to support you. But girl, then you have to support yourself. Like, you know your vision, you know the dream, you know what you want to achieve. Just go for it. Go for it. Give yourself time. Think about it. Come with a good business plan. You have to have a great idea. Okay, I want to do this, this one, and just start. Start somewhere because once you start, it's going to keep developing by itself. So just put the first step, maybe make an Instagram page or a Facebook page, make a business card, I don't know. Make something and then you will feel the urge to, okay, I need to, I need to keep going, I need to keep going, I need to keep going. So that's number one. Just start, don't feel ashamed, you're not doing anything bad. On the contrary, you're doing something great for yourself and for your future. So go right ahead, girl. Okay guys, so that was everything for today's video. Of course, like I told you guys, this is going to be a two-part video. So this was part one. Part two will come next week with the answer to the rest of your questions. I want to thank all of you who sent your questions in. I loved it and I am super happy with the responses that I got because I really didn't think I would get this much answers or questions, situations sent in. But you guys really showed up and showed out. So I really want to give a big thank you to all of you. And I also want to say thank you for your constant love and support on my channel. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. It lets me know what type of content you guys want to see. Also, if you have feedback, suggestions, opinions, you can leave them in the comments down below. I love to read all of them. 
and also don't forget to follow me on all of my social media accounts i will leave them somewhere on the screen so you can just see them my instagram snapchat and my tiktok and that's it i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy chatting a little bit with me i hope that you guys enjoy and i will see you guys in my next video bye